What is up, man fans? My name is Walkman, and today I will be teaching y'all how to play 18 in Life by Skid Row, possibly one of their best songs. Um, I will do more lesson videos like this if this gets mm, 20 likes. If this gets 20 likes, I will do that. Um, okay, so the beginning of it is really simple. Um, for this is. Blah. It starts off with bar chords. It starts off in a uh, C sharp or D flat, whatever you want to go by. I believe it's C sharp. That's the chord it goes off of, okay? Um, and he goes D. So basically, the chord, the chord, the finger placements for the chord are on fourth fret A, sixth fret D, sixth fret G and 5th fret B, so you're making a C-sharp minor, I think, minor or major, I'm not sure. But you're not including that higher note, you're just going... Then you just take off all of, the, all of your, you just take off your middle finger, ring finger, and pinky finger, and then just bar the, um, you're basically barring all the strings on 4th fret, you're just adding 3 more uh, fingers. So you're barring that, and then you're just going to go, it's, the pattern of it goes A, B, G, D, okay, A, B, G, D, and then B, G, D again, but you take off your three fingers, and then you hammer on and pull up. fret of the uh, A, and then you do an A, an, uh, an A chord, but releasing, but not even, you're just basically barring uh, your middle finger on the second fret of the A, or the D, and then putting your uh, ring finger on the second fret of the G. Okay, you basically go A, D, and then you strum D, so ah, A, D, and then you strum G, B and E. And then you do that again. But this time with this, instead of strumming that, you go. You do A, D, and this is a B chord that we're doing. So finger on second fret of the A, and then fourth fret on the D. And then you pluck up on the E and B together. So all that together would be the whole riff. Okay. And that's basically the whole verses except for the second half of the second verse. Now. Let me change my tones here. Um, Snake and Sobble were really good at playing this close to the recording in the studio um, as they did it live, uh, or vice versa. I don't know what I meant by that. <laughs> but when it gets to um, fingers to the bone part, he goes, they do a chicky on that, on the, as Marty Schwartz would call it. Shout out to him. Um, he goes... Okay, and then they slide on the low E. Then they go to an A power chord, and then a B, and then they do a pinch harmonic on the fourth fret of the low E. Do a vibrato, and then they go back to the, um, they actually just go to the fourth fret of the A and just kind of let it ring out, and then they slide up to the 13th fret of the G, and then pluck that, and then 12th fret of the B, and then let that ring out, and then do the 13th fret of the G, and let them both ring out at the same time. So it sounds like this. Ooh. 
So, in all, after the clean part goes... <laughs> go to an A flat power chord, which is um, fourth fret on the low E, um, sixth fret of the A, and then sixth fret of the D, and then you move up one, and you do palm mute, and then you go A, open A, A flat A, You go from A and then slide down to F sharp. And then you do a quick kind of, which is open E, F sharp. Go back to A flat. Open A flat, open F, open A flat, A, B, A flat, and then that's when the chorus begins. The chorus is just basically a one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three pattern. Okay, so it's just sorry, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four pattern. So it's just basically A, D, G, A. So you're on the C sharp, and then you go down to an A power chord. You go A, D, G, D, and then you go into an E minor power chord. Then you go E. A, so yeah, E, A, high E, B, okay, and then you go to a B chord, which is just, you're not really doing the B chord, you're just doing the root of the note, which is a B, second fret of the A, and then you go fourth fret B, and then fourth fret G, and then you, sl and then you go C, and then C sharp again, so that's how that goes. <laughs> So, and then when after the chorus, it goes. Now, with that, um, that little riff down here was the one that goes through the whole verse. Um, and there's a dual guitar part in that little. Uh, lick there. So on the higher part, it goes like. But most people hear this. I know that's what I heard the first time, but if you actually double those up, it sounds really, really cool. It sounds almost just like the record. Now, basically, what you're doing is just this. Okay? Um, you're just A, A, and then you're just doing these two notes which is 6th uh, fret of the G and 5th fret of the e, uh, B. And then you're doing the 4th fret of the B and then 4th fret of the G. So... And the second time you do that, it's A, A. So, and then you go... Okay, and then when that happens again... Back to the pre chorus. Now, after that part, they do the. Then they do a pinch harmonic, okay, on the sixth fret or wherever they did it. I find it on the sixth fret, depending on how many. Depending on the configuration of your pickups and the kind of pickups you have, um, it. I found mine on the sixth fret. Okay, they do a pinch harmonic and do a vibrato. And then go back to the A, B, A flat, A. Okay, so now that we've done that, um, now it's time to get into the bridge. So after the chorus, it goes... Then it goes... 
goes into the solo. Now, when it does this part, there's a variation of what you can do here for the uh, little kind of lick that they do. I like to do unison bends, but they, they do it, I don't know if they use unison bends and dual lit at the same time. Um, you'll have to figure that out for yourself because I really don't know because Dave, Snake, and Scotty Hill are really good at doing the dual guitar thing. Um, so I'm just gonna do that for now. It's going, you're going open, two, two, open, two, two, open, two, two, open. And when you do the twos, you are palm muting. Okay? And then you do this, which is a 16th fret G, okay, and then 14th fret B, and you're just basically doing, it's called the unison bend, and you bend the uh, G up to the pitch of the B. Okay. You do a small vibrato, and then you go to the, you move your 14th B up to the 14th E, and then you go to the um, uh, 17th fret of the B, and then you bend up to the pitch of the high E. And then you do a small vibrato. So it all goes like this. And you go to an E. So it goes E, E. You do F sharp, G sharp, which is two, four on the low E. And then you do a hammer on and pull off on the A from two to four. From B to C sharp, okay? And then back to B. And then you do B, sorry, C sharp, B, and then G sharp, and then A. Okay? And then you go to that section next, which goes like, well, before that, it goes like this. which goes G sharp, B, C sharp, okay, and then it goes back to B, and then it goes into the solo, okay. So, the whole song's sections, okay, you've got the verses, pre-chorus, to add a, um, a dual kind of harmony guitar part on there. It sounds cool, you don't have to do it, but I think it sounds cool. Um, this is when I play it. So it goes like. And then you go into the solo, okay? Which is a very awesome solo to play. I love the solo very much. It's one of my favorite solos of all time. So basically, in a nutshell, it goes like this. Right before the solo, when it goes like, when it goes to that B chord, you go to the uh, 16th fret of the B and G and then, and then hit that. And then do a small vibrato. And you slide down on the E and then begin with the solo, which is four, five on the B, okay? And then a pinch harmonic on the 6th fret of the G. Preferably that pitch. So it goes like this. 
And then you do that again, but instead of doing the, you bend up on the fifth fret of the B. With a pinch harmonic. And then you come down and you go five, four on the B, and then four on the G. So the solo so far sounds like... Then you do that again, and then you go like this. Slide up to the nine. Slide up nine, twelve, nine, and then twelve again, but you're gonna bend up. Okay. Okay. Well, you don't go to that, you go to the ninth fret of the G, but it's how you do it. Okay, you go. You come down, hit the ninth fret of the B, the ninth fret of the G. Okay. And then you, from the 9 to the 11 on the G, and then you take your pinky, and then you hit the, or you, or you can tap it, however you like. You bend up, and then you go half a step on 12, take, and then take off 12, come down with the, um, come down with the G. Okay, on the 11th, and then you do this little thing here, which is 8th fret of the G and then 9th fret of the B, I mean D, and then you do 8 on the G, 9 on the G, and then you do a pinch harmonic and then come down with it, okay, and then you do this little, this little phrase, okay, which is this, so it's from 8, 9, 11, okay, on the G, and then you go, and you switch it, go from, it's basically the same pattern, index, middle, pinky, okay, so from 8, 9, 11, and then 8, 9, 11 on the B, but it goes from 9 to 10 to 12, and then you go to 9 to the high E, which is the highest you're, you'll go on that, I think, so it goes like... So, so, on this one, it goes from 9, 10, 12, and then back to 10 on the uh, B, and then you go to the 9 on the high E. Okay? Which, when you do that little climb down, you're gonna go, you're gonna wanna go high E, 12 B, 10, 10 B, 9 B, 11 G, 9 G, and then 8G, and then do a vibrato. So the whole solo so far sounds like this. Okay, and then you're gonna go, you're gonna go to the 14th fret of the A, You're gonna do a hammer on, okay, from the, and it's gonna be palm muted too. Palm mute from the, uh, palm mute hammer on from the 12 to the 16 on the A. And then do that same thing again on the D, just basically removing that pattern on the 14 and 16th fret um, to the one string above. And then you're gonna slide and do the same thing, but two frets above. Okay, and then you're gonna do that on the G. Okay. You're gonna take the um, 17th fret of the B, bend the whole step, come down, and then do 17, 16, 17, and then uh, and the 19, 19, uh, 17, 16. So 19, 17, 16, 19 on the B, okay, and then 17 on the high E, 16 on the high E, and then back to the 19, uh, yeah, back to the 19 on the uh, B, and then 17 on B, 
four, uh, 16 on B, okay? I think, yeah. And then from a pull-off from uh, 17 to 16 on the B, okay? Okay, and then 18 on the G, and then 17, 16 again on the G, I mean B, okay? Wait. Okay, and then 18, and then 16, okay, on the G. So the solo, the solo so far sounds like this. That's basically it. Um, then when, once you get to that G string and get to the 16th fret of the G, and then you can go to the 19th fret and then bend up slowly on the high E. And make a full step bend. And then it goes back to the chorus and then the outro solo. Uh, but I'm gonna do the pre-outro solo and then do the outro solo. <laughs> Basically, five, four, five, four on the B, and then fourth fret on the G, and then a hammer on from the four to the six on the G, and then you're gonna go to the sixth fret of the D, and then go from hammer on from six to seven, and then go down to four on the D. Then go to the two and then one on the D. And then go back to the five on the B. Instead of going, and then, then when you do that the second time, instead of going to the two and the one again, you slide up on the B and the G. And then you go 12, and 12, 11 on the high E, and then 12 on the, uh, 12 on the, B string, okay, and then you hammer on from the 12 to the 14th on the B, and then, okay, and then 13th on the G, and then hammer on from the 13th to the 14th on the G, and then go to the, uh, the 11th on the G, okay. And then you go 14, 12 on the B, and then 14, 12, 11 on the high E, and then, and then 12 on the B, and then you do that pattern over again. Okay? But then after you do that, okay? Put your bar, your pinky, whatever your fingers you want to use on the 12th fret of the G, uh, the B, and the high E, okay? Go one, two, and then you slide down and you make this. And then you can either do a unison bend, or you could slide up and do it on from the, um, on, it's on the 11th fret, okay? You could do... 11, bend up full step, and then pinky fret, or not pinky fret, the uh, 12th fret on the B. Okay, and then you do that again. You bend, you come down with the G on the 11th fret and go down to nine. And then you finished it. So both solos together, 
um, sound like this. <laughs> dark now isn't it <laughs> um i hope you guys enjoyed that lesson please like subscribe and share and comment the four rules of the walkman channel uh thank you for watching and i will or you will see me in the next video whether it be a short or a full-length video so yeah uh i will come to you guys with more updates on my flying v so yes uh it will be there will be a video on it soon and i don't know how soon just soon <laughs> so thank you guys for watching again and have a marvelous day